Tall night black people have their drums going as they dance in the bush. All those dances, all those lascivious bodies leaping and bending down. They couldn't see him in the dark among the shadows and trees, but they could hear. They had to listen to them dance the bambula bambula, the quelbe, the manding, the juba, the ibo, the pique, the halicord, the chromanti, the congo, the chiffon, the banda, the pencow, the cherub, the kalinda, the bongo. There was no natural subservience here. Nobody didn't bow down to nobody just so. To get a man to follow your instructions, you had to pen him and beat him and cut off his ears or his foot when he ran away. Your heart was to take away his woman from him and his child. And still, that fellow stand up and oppose you. Muma, Muma. Your son in the grave already. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and ban your belly. Muma, Muma. Your son in the grave already. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and ban your belly. And it wasn't just men alone. It had women there. That was even more terrible. They had to ban them from talking. They had to ban them from walking and raising up their dress tail and shaking their melodious backsides. They wasn't easy. The plantation people couldn't handle them. They beat them. They hold them down and turn them over and do them whatever wickedness they can manage. But they couldn't break them. They couldn't break them. They couldn't break them. 400 years it take them to find out that you can't keep people in captivity. 400 years. And it didn't happen just so. People had to revolt. People had to poison people. Port of Spain had to burn down. A hurricane had to hit the island. Haiti had to defeat Napoleon. People had to run away up the mountains. People had to fight. And then they agree, yes, we can't hold people in captivity here. But now they had another problem. It was not how to keep people in captivity. It was how to set people at liberty. Muma, Muma, your son in the grave already. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and ban your belly. Muma, Muma, your son in the grave already. Your son in the grave already. Take a towel and ban your belly. And it wasn't just men alone. It had women there. That was even more terrible. They had to ban them from talking. They had to ban them from walking and raising up their dress tail and shaking their melodious backsides. They wasn't easy. The plantation people couldn't handle them. They beat them. They hold them down and turn them over and do them whatever wickedness they can manage. But they couldn't break them. They couldn't break them. They couldn't break them. 400 years it take them to find out that you can't keep people in captivity. 400 years. And it didn't happen just so. People had to revolt. People had to poison people. Port of Spain had to burn down. A hurricane had to hit the island. Haiti had to defeat Napoleon. People had to run away up the mountains. People had to fight. And then they agree, yes, we can't hold people in captivity here.